ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट टूडे विद ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज क्लाउड चेंबर्स एंड स्पार्क काउंटर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्लाउड चेंबर्स सो क्लाउड चेंबर्स आर यूज टू डिटेक्ट एल्फा पार्टिकल्स क्लाउड चेंबर्स आर यूज टू डिटेक्ट एल्फा पार्टिकल्स ओके सो वॉट आर द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन अ क्लाउड चेंबर लेट सी दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव दीज रिंग्स यू हैव दीज रिंग्स इन अ क्लाउड चेंबर they are soaked in alcohol and they emit alcohol vapors they are soaked in alcohol and they emit alcohol vapors secondly you have a lamp and a plastic lid that enables you to see what is happening inside the chamber in a cloud chamber you have a lamp and a plastic lid that enables you to see what is happening inside the cloud chamber perfect you also have this dry ice here you also have this dry ice here to maintain lower temperatures in the chamber you also have dry ice here to maintain lower temperatures in the chamber okay and then lastly you have a radioactive source here that is emitting alpha particles a radioactive source that is emitting alpha particles perfect so what happens inside a cloud chamber let's see that let's see okay so basically alcohol vapors are initially emitted by these rings perfect alcohol vapors are emitted by these rings due to the lower temperature in the chamber due to the lower temperature in the chamber these alcohol vapors get converted into what these alcohol vapors get converted into alcohol droplets these are the first and second step that i have written here perfect simultaneously 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 this alpha emitting source this alpha emitting source would have ionized the air around it simultaneously this alpha emitting source would have ionized the air around it what will happen next this ionized air will attract the alcohol vapors these ionized air will attract the alcohol vapors forming path of condensations this is what i have written here alpha particles ionize the surrounding air the surrounding air attract these ions forming path of condensation where can you see these path of condensations on these black plates you can see these paths of condensation on these black plates now if the source contains alpha particles if the source contains alpha particles you will have thick short tracks that curl in one direction if the source is emitting alpha particles you will have thick short tracks of path of condensation this is your cloud chamber experiment now let's move on to spark counters spark counters are also used to detect alpha particles let's see the diagram of a spark counter yeah this is the diagram of a spark counter okay so what do we have here we have a metal gauze here this thing okay and we have a metal wire here this solid thing and we have attached a higher voltage here like a 5000 volts here okay what happens in a spark counter what happens in a spark counter when you bring an alpha emitting source here when you bring an alpha emitting source here this ionizes the surrounding air this ionizes the surrounding air and hence a spark is generated so a spark counter is really really easy you set up a wire goes and apply a higher voltage across it and then bring an alpha source close to it alpha source will ionize the air around it as it ionizes the air around it sparks will generate now why are sparks generated actually if the examiner is ask you why are sparks generated sparks are generated because the charged air molecules or the ionized air molecules collide with each other simple as that this was a new topic added in your syllabus spark counters cloud chambers the notes are also given in the description